Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to uh, your next installment of your how-to videos to help us with our e-learning. Uh, right now, we're going to be going over how to fill out and submit PDFs um, as your part of your assignments in Google Classroom using a program called DocHub. Um, it's pretty straightforward to use. You just have to know where to click. Um, I've used it for quite a while, especially with the middle schoolers, and it, it works fairly well. So. I'm in my Google Classroom right now. I can see that a new assignment has been posted, so I'm gonna click on that right here. And over here on the right, I have my work. Now this one is a PDF. Again, a Google Doc or any uh, anything by Google, you're going to be able to type in right then and there and send it back in. PDFs do require an extra step, but it's not that much extra. So I'm gonna click on my PDF. It's an old um, Trinity Health form. It's got lots of spaces on it to fill out. Um, up here in the top right, my first step I have to do is click on More Actions, and I have to open this in a new window. That way I'm looking at it fresh, and this allows me to open it up in the program we want, which is, again is Doc Hubs. Right here in the center, it says Open With. Sometimes it will say Doc Hubs, sometimes it'll say Google Docs. If it doesn't say the one that you want, which in this case is Doc Hub, I'm going to click on that down arrow. Hopefully Doc Hub is one of your choices. If not, I'm going to show you how to add that in just a second, but I'm going to click on Doc Hub. And it might ask you to sign in. Um, it's I'm getting a different message because this is the multiple time I'm uh, opening this up, but it might ask you to sign in. Again, please make sure that you sign in using your Trinity email address. Otherwise, your drive and classroom and doc hub won't all link up uh, and it'll be a, a mess. Um, if you do ever get this yellow line, what this means is that you're coming back in to look at a document for the second or third or however many a time. Um, if you cl select create a duplicate, uh, it will show you a blank PDF again. I'm going to select use existing because I came in to fill this out, didn't finish my work, I need to come back and do it again. That's when you're going to see this message. So I'm going to hit use existing. And you can see I've started to answer some of my questions here. To continue doing that, I simply come up, click on the A for add text. And I can see where the blue line is. It's pretty good about snapping to a line and typing right on it. So I'm going to provide my answers on the line. If I need to check a box, I can do that with a check mark here without a problem. And let's say um, I make a mistake, mistakes happen. So I can click right on my text box. Oh no, I'm stamping all over the place. Why? Because I'm still in the stamp tool. So one drawback is you have to be in whatever tool you're looking for. However, I can delete these stamps by clicking on the trash can up in the top. If I wanna to go back to my A's, my answers rather, I click on the A, can come down and click on my answer, either edit it, if that's what I need to do, or simply click on the trash can and delete it. And then I can answer again. Now let's say I've answered everything, I'm ready to submit my work and hand it in. Uh, Doc Hub does automatically save that. You can see that up here in the top left which is great. However, it does not automatically update the PDF in your Google Drive. You have to tell it to do that. Fortunately, it's very easy to do. Over in the top right now, you're going to see a down arrow. If you hold your mouse over that, it does say download slash export. That's the one we're looking for. And once we click on that, we have a bunch of different options. Even though Classroom is here, we do not want to use this for Classroom. Um, this is this would be used for if I, if um, the teacher did not upload the PDF and you were trying to send a separate PDF into Classroom. Um, we're not dealing with that. So we're going to select the G Drive or the Google Drive right here next to it. And once I select that, um, I want to make sure that it's saved as update existing with revision. What this is going to do is put my answers into the PDF that's already linked to Classroom. If I select create new copy, it's going to make a duplicate file. Um, and then you're gonna have to go in and find it the long way. We don't want to do that. So make sure it says update existing with revision and I'm going to click on the export to drive and it's done. Now I do not need to click on show and drive. 
I can just select OK. Now I'm done with this. I can close this out. I'm actually going to close both of those. I can close this. This is my original PDF. And now I'm back into my classroom. I'm going to click off of the PDF that I'm still looking at by hitting that back button there. And now I'm back in here at my work. Now, if you click on this, like I did the first time when I did this uh, years ago, my file is still blank. Don't worry, it's really not blank. I'll show you in a second. So now I'm going to hit turn in. And I'm going to confirm that I do want to turn in my work. Now, even if it looks blank, when you're opening up on your end, there are a couple of ways that you can check to make sure that that is actually the PDF you wanted. Even though I've submitted my work, I can still view it. So I'm going to open it up and it's blank right now. But if I click on those three dots up in the top right corner again, and I select open a new window, it's going to open up the PDF. And now I can see that I do indeed have the answers that I have left here. So don't be afraid. The teachers, I'll show you right now. I'll go back in as the teacher on this page. When I click on the PDF as the teacher, I do see the filled out one. I'm not brought back to the blank one. Again, as long as you exported it correctly from DocHub. Now, if for whatever reason, when you open it up in a new window, if DocHub is not one of your choices, Simply open a new tab, go to dockhub.com, and I'm going to sign myself out. But all you have to do, you don't have to hit login, anything. Right here, sign in with Google. I'm going to click on that. If my account is not here, I'm going to select use another account. Again, always using your Trinity account. might ask for your password. It might not. I've been on this for a while right now, so it knows who I am. And now I can see these are the documents that I have started to work with. Um, now if I come back again from Google Classroom, opening up my file, selecting my three dots, open a new window. Now I should see DocHub here. If not, send me an email and we'll figure it out. Also, one last thing before I end this. Um, if you are on a dedicated computer with a Chrome browser, um, you very well will get asked to um, allow DocHub to install an extension. Um, I highly recommend it. Uh, it makes DocHub work a bit faster and easier as it integrates more into your uh, browser. That ends this how-to on Google Docs. I'm sorry, DocHub, not Google Docs. That's next. Um, so this ends DocHub. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Um, and good luck with uh, accessing your PDFs. Again, feel free to email me uh, if you have any questions or anything is not working. Thank you very much, and stay